Materials behave in different ways and a designer needs to know and understand the properties and working characteristics of the material they are using so that they can produce a successful product. The physical properties of the materials are how each material reacts to an external force other than mechanical properties. Remember that it's important to consider a product's functional requirements before choosing the materials for its manufacture. The five common physical properties are electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, magnetic properties, optical properties and acoustic properties. Electrical conductivity is a measure of how a material passes an electric current. If the material offers a very low resistance, it is referred to as a conductor and more easily passes an electrical current. For example, metals are good conductors, especially copper, silver and gold. Materials that offer a high resistance to an electrical current are known as insulators, which are usually non-metals such as ceramics, glass and most plastics. Thermal conductivity is a measure of how heat travels through a material. For example, a frying pan that is made of metal has high thermal conductivity to heat the food quickly, but it has an insulating handle with low thermal conductivity so you don't burn yourself. A material that conducts heat easily has high thermal conductivity, for example metals, especially copper and aluminium. Materials that have low conductivity are referred to as thermal insulators and are usually non-metals. Lodestone is a naturally found iron mineral made from magnetite. It has magnetic properties that enable it to attract or repel certain other materials. Magnets can be made artificially by wrapping an insulated wire around an iron bar and passing a current through the wire. This is called an electromagnet. Many steels are also magnetic and are often used in magnetic products, from magnetic cat collars to rotors in electric motors. Optical properties refer to how the material reacts to light and how much it reflects, absorbs or radiates it. These properties depend upon whether the material is opaque, translucent or transparent. Opaque materials absorb or reflect all light and it's not possible to see through them. For example, a wooden door. Translucent means that some light can pass through it. For example, sunglasses. Transparent materials allow light to pass through easily, such as clear glass used in windows. The final physical property is the acoustic property, which is a measure of how a material reacts to sound. Some materials absorb sound while others reflect it. Materials that are good at absorbing sound are frequently used for products such as carpets and floor tiles, as they provide sound insulation or soundproofing. Materials with sound reflecting properties are used in concert halls to enhance the quality of a musical performance. As well as mechanical and physical properties, environmental properties of a material need to be considered by a designer. The environmental properties refer to the impact that the material's use has on the environment. A renewable material, one that can be reused, usually has a low impact on the environment. For example, plastic for drinks bottles and cardboard for cereal boxes. Materials that cannot be recycled or are not renewable have a greater environmental impact. Other issues include the pollution created making the material, the extraction, transportation and manufacture of the material, the scarcity of the material, or if the method to obtain the material will involve destroying a habitat.